Hello students, in this video we'll discuss parameterizations of the unit circle. So the unit circle from ordinary trigonometry is given by the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And so that is the algebraic relationship, but we can think of this geometrically as well. We know the unit circle comes from trigonometry. This is the x-axis, is the y-axis. It's all the points whose distance away from the origin is equal to 1. We know that any point on the unit circle, if this is my angle theta, can be written as the cosine of theta comma the sine of theta. And this gives us the natural parameterization of the unit circle. As theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, I get to every point on the unit circle. So as theta starts at 0, this is theta equals 0, we move around the circle like so. So we trace out like this. So here is our parameterization of the unit circle. Our parameterization of the unit circle is r of t is cosine of t i hat plus sine of t j hat. And we'll say that t goes between 0 and 2 pi. Now, if we were to include 2 pi in this interval, I would get to the point 1, 0, 2 times. So this is a parameterization, or the standard parameterization, of the unit circle. However, we could have changed things a little bit. We could have looked at something like this. If I look, for example, at, let's call this r1. But if we looked at r2 of t, which was sine of t i hat plus cosine of t j hat for t between 0 and 2 pi, We'll still get the unit circle, but we'll just start somewhere different. So for example, what does R1 look like? So if we look at R1 of t, if I plug in 0 to this, we get to i hat for R1. If we look at R2 of 0, well now I'll have a 0 and a 1, so I'll get it to j hat. So what happens is that for the first curve, I start over here. For R1, I start at 0 and trace around the unit circle like this. And for R2, what we do is the following. For R2, we start on the unit circle. Here's our unit circle. The x-axis and the y-axis. But now I start at j hat. And I trace around the unit circle. But now let's think, which way do we go? If I start to plug in bigger values of t, the sign will be positive, so I'll go this direction. I'll go clockwise, whereas this curve over here goes counterclockwise or anticlockwise. So this curve over here is anticlockwise, and this curve over here, this R2 curve, will be clockwise. So we can see from this that there's many ways to parameterize the unit circle, so let's write a few more down. We can also consider, for example, R3 of t. And r3 of t will be the sine of t squared i hat plus the cosine of t squared j hat, where t goes between 0 and the square root of 2 pi. So this will also give us a relationship between x to y. For this curve over here, this is our x, this is our y. And for this curve, we still have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So this will also parameterize the unit circle. It will move at a different speed, though. So this parameterizes, so r3 parameterizes the unit circle at a different speed. And it will have the same orientation as R2, with the same orientation as R2. So curves can have different orientations, they can have different speeds, and they can also cover themselves multiple times. If I look at this curve over here, R4 of t is equal to the cosine of 2t i hat plus the sine of 2t j hat, where now t goes between 0 and, let's say, 8 pi. So if this is our x and this is our y, then x squared 
plus y squared is equal to 1 by the Pythagorean identity. But we can notice what happens. For this curve, I'll have the same orientation as r1, but now what will happen, here's my x, here's my y, I'll go around the unit circle, and then, since I go from 0 to not to 2 pi, but to 8 pi, I'll go around again, I'll go around again, I'll go around again, I'll go around a total of 8 times. So we'll trace out the circle 8 times in the anti-clockwise direction. So now as we see, there's many, many ways to parameterize the unit circle. Likewise, there's many, many ways to parameterize any curve. And so for our next objective is to take a curve and to standardize it, to give it a unit speed. And so we'll talk about unit speed parameterizations. And we'll see that this version r1 of t will be the standard or unit speed parameterization of the curve by computing the derivative of the curve. Thank you very much.